One of our viewers asked this question, how much Social Security do I need to retire? We're going to explore this question here and come up with the amount of Social Security a person needs to retire. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. This is Richard with Wisdom Investor. We're going to take a look at this question here. How much Social Security do I need to retire? I want you to stay with us for the whole video. We have some good information here to share. But a lot of people are wanting to know how much money or how much Social Security they need to retire. Now, in this particular question, we were not given a lot of details. We don't know the person's age. We don't know how much money they make, how much they've saved, or how long they've worked to earn Social Security or when they're going to retire. However, we're going to come up with an answer on how much Social Security a person needs to retire. Now, the first thing that a person needs to think about when they get ready to retire or they're thinking about it, at least 10 years ahead of time perhaps, is what your expenses are going to be. Labor and Bureau Statistics says that the average person spends about $35,000 a year when they're retired. If you know how much you're spending in retirement, let us know. It would be good to get an idea of the different areas of the country and what people are spending in retirement. But that's the average. It's about $35,000 per year. Now, if a person has their house paid for, cars paid for, it's probably going to be less. If a person has a house they've just recently purchased, they're probably going to be more. If they're on the East Coast, the West Coast, they're probably going to be more. If they're in the center of the country, it'll be less. Now, the next thing you want to do is, after you come up with your expenses, is to look at your income minus your taxes. What's your net income? And you're going to calculate what your Social Security is going to be, any savings, pension, IRA, or Roth, any type of retirement accounts. So you basically want to know the big picture, what your expenses are, and then come up with what your income is going to be. And that will give you an idea. Are you going to be short? Are you going to need to work more or save more? Or are you going to have plenty of money to be able to retire? This is a sample situation in that we don't know how old this person is. We don't know their income level or when they're going to retire. So this could be a broad number that could help a lot of people in general. If this person's 50 years old and they're earning $40,000 per year and they want to retire at 62, that's going to bring them in about $1,100 per month. If they're going to retire at 67, that's about $1,600 per month. If they earn $50,000 per year, they're 50 years old now, they're going to retire at age 62, about $1,700 per month, and at age 67, $2,400 per month. Now, these numbers are going to vary for people because we don't know how many years they worked and earned a certain income. The IRS takes your last 35 years or your best 35 years of income that you've earned, and through their calculations, they come up with what your Social Security is going to be. So going over these numbers again, if this person that is calling in is, say, 50 years old and they make $50,000, and they want to retire at age 67, that's $24.87 per month. And we're generalizing here because we don't know the whole situation. So what they're going to need to look at is what their expenses. Their expenses are going to be best to be under $2,000 per month in this particular case. Again, this is a 50-year-old. Now let's take a look at a, another situation here. Let's take a look at a 60-year-old person making $40,000 per year. So they're just going to retire in a couple of years or 62 years old, or they want to retire at age 62 at $1,600 per month. If they said, well, I'm going to retire at 67, that's $2,200 per month. So the 60 year old here we're talking about earning 40,000 would need to keep their expenses under $2,000 per month if they're going to retire. Otherwise they're going to have to have some other savings, a pension, IRAs, and things like that. At 50000 the 60-year-old is going to $1,890 per month. And if they retire at 67, it'll be $2,702. If they're earning $60,000 now and they're going to retire at 62, that'd be over $2,000 per month. And if they wait till 67, that's $2,900 per month. So if they're earning $60,000, for example, and they're going to retire at 67, they want to make sure their expenses for sure under $2,500 per month. Keep in mind when we talk about Social Security here, 
it wasn't meant to be your sole income during retirement. It really was only supposed to be an emergency situation or just partial of your retirement savings or your retirement income. Now, a lot of people do rely upon Social Security, but if you're 50 and below or even 50 to 60 and you're only relying on Social Security now, you definitely want to take a look at saving as much money as you can. Expenses go up. You don't want to take that Social Security too early if you have to. Now, the other option is if you don't have any other savings, you're going to have to work until 67 or even 70 years old to let your Social Security build up.